Welcome back. So today we are at the Jane Morgan Harris Garden, and this is at Richfield Living in Salem. And we are getting all the dirt on daylilies today. We have Shirley Jerusik, the president of the Blue Ridge Area Daylily Society, as well as Kyle Jones, he is the treasurer. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. I am learning, I've learned so much already since just chatting with you over the last few minutes, but tell me, Shirley, all about daylilies and what do you especially love about them? Well, daylilies are probably about the easiest perennial you could grow. Um, they uh, take many different situations. They can bloom in the shade, in the sun. They lend themselves to many different landscapes. Um, daylilies have been um, in cultivation for over 500 years. In the beginning, they used to be used for food and medicine. Oh. Today, they are uh, hybridized for different colors. Um, in the 1930s, hybridization became a big thing in America and in Europe, and all the daylilies you see today are from that hybridization program. Originally, there was only yellow, orange, and red. So today we have uh, purples <laughs> and pinks and a, a multitude of colors. So many, and over 100,000. Yes, there over are over 100,000 100, named cultivars, uh, which you can find on the American Daylily Society's website. They have a database, oh. and you can go there and you can find out all the information you'd want to know. All right, so let's talk about the garden that we're in today. We are surrounded by daylilies. Uh, it's, it's kind of a special one, especially to you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I created these gardens um, over the past four years. It is called the Jane Morgan Harris Garden because Jane Morgan Harris is the founder of Richfield from 1938. Um, the gardens have um, 420 different cultivars right now. My goal is to have 1,000. Wow. Uh, this is one of 10 daylily display gardens in the state of Virginia. Uh, the Region 3 representative came last year in June and decided that our garden was up to the standards of the American Daylily Society and therefore we were awarded the status of a historic daylily display garden. That is pretty cool. That Thank is you. awesome and gorgeous to look at. Uh, so you guys do have an event coming up this weekend. Kyle, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? So we're going to have a garden tour. The Blue Ridge Area Daylily Society's members are going to have a garden tour at the home of one of our members, Carolyn Fleming, out in Craig County. And if anybody's interested in joining us, you can find the information and directions on our website, Blue Ridge Area Daylily Society, or contact us on Facebook. It is really cool to think about, too, because uh, anyone can have their own version, right? Because oh, yeah. when you hybridize, you kind of mesh the day, day lilies together and Kyle you were explaining to me it will drop a seed once you kind of let them mm -hmm. mate I guess you do their thing right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can name your own right right you have your own day lily yeah. yes absolutely and I guess that's how they have now over a hundred thousand oh yes yes <laughs> different types of day lilies yes. well they're certainly gorgeous flowers I can't stop looking at them because each one is so different um, and I know you guys do a lot of work you guys love day lilies and I think you may have converted me <laughs> I may be a day lily lover I know uh, that Kara Thompson is as well uh, so if it, folks are interested Kyle um, in learning more about the Blue Ridge area day lily society where can they get more information as I said we you can contact us on our website the uh, Blue Ridge Area Daylily Society also referred to as Brad's we also have a Facebook page and you can contact us on there through messenger and you guys meet often uh, we, we meet at the um, Reynolds Council of Garden Clubs on Colonial Avenue usually the second Saturday of each month but mm -hmm. there's a few months that we skip <laughs> All right, well, Shirley Jerusik and uh, Kyle Jones, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us all the dirt on these beautiful day lilies. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> My pleasure. Back to you. All right, Amanda. Well, you had a family of geese kind of trek behind you there. They said they wanted to be on TV on this beautiful day. I know. <laughs> they certainly did. <laughs> All right, Amanda, thanks so much. Now to catch up on all the dirt, and you can see Amanda's previous stories on WFXRTV.com or catch it right here live on Noon on Thursdays.